Hello you guys and welcome back to another Bitcoin market update. We're gonna start looking at the 4 hour time frame because this is the most important part about this video. We have this resistance line which is along the top line of the falling wedge. Now why is this line up there to begin with? Well this is the point where Bitcoin has found rejection when it tried to break out before. We saw that happen up here, down here, and potentially down here again. And now we're retesting the support level of this falling wedge. If Bitcoin is unable to hold this yellow support level, we are likely to break down and rechallenge this previous lows at around $33,000. Now, this is also the point where Bitcoin could actually form a confirmation because if we hold this support level, eventually breaking higher than we did before, this could be considered a confirmation. But so far, we've only found rejection. Also, the Bitcoin long to short ratio on Binance is down to 0.85. So at the time of recording this video, we have 15% more shorts than we do longs, man. The bears are out there. So now we're stepping back a little bit and we're looking at the daily time frame. Here you can see the falling wedge a little bit better and the white rejection line as well. Looking at the bottom of the screen, we have the RSI potentially holding support above the resistance level that remains to be seen. This could also turn out to be just rejection on the RSI, but if Bitcoin is able to hold above the support line of the falling wedge eventually having a confirmation we could see bitcoin begin to move higher but yeah we have to wait and see if this uh bullish divergence is really going to play out then here we have bitcoin on the weekly the rsi down to 39 and as you can see we are holding above the 100 moving average also bitcoin on the monthly we have the 20 moving average which is $36,766. So we're just a little bit above that. But pretty much we still have a technical uptrend based on the 20 moving average. Is this a bear market? Well, based on volatility, we are already in a bear market, but you shouldn't assume that since we are in a bear market based on volatility, you shouldn't assume that we will be in a bear market for an extended amount of time. And I'm talking about two years, uh, you know, three years, uh, something like that, which is what most people tend to assume. Because if a bear market, which is something that people consider to be a few months long, then I'm thinking people would not panic as much. But we all have this idea that a bear market, it's a multi-year process. And of course that could be the case, but based on this moving averages and what we call an uptrend, Bitcoin is still holding that uptrend. A bear market is based on volatility. So like I said, if we fail to hold the support level, we're likely to retest the $33,000 level. And if we're able to break above the $40,000 level, we will likely move higher to a point of resistance. And we have many points of resistance, guys. We just have to get above the $40,000 level first. That's all for today's video, and I'll see you on the next update.